battle of unbeatens in the Rock Valley North tonight as number four Jefferson in Division Three takes on an undefeated squad of East Troy also at 4-0. Now, a win tonight for that Trojan squad would go a long way to getting them into the playoffs, something they haven't done since 2002. East Troy has given up just 26 total points in the first four games, while the Eagles enter this one scoring 38 a game. Jefferson on the board first in the first. Nate Keller with the handoff follows his blockers around the outside, and he is gone. 36 yards on the score, 7-0 Eagles. In the second quarter, it's Keller again. This one from much closer, just two yards on the plunge. Eagles head into halftime up 14-0. Trojans come out of the break like a man on fire. Off the play action, Miles Olsen and Nate Dodge right into your living room and right into the end zone. Cuts that lead in half to 14 to seven. But Jefferson had an answer. On scene possession, Dustin Moldenhauer flips it to Asa Ramirez for the score. Then after East Troy fumbled the following kickoff, the Eagles come out in the pistol formation. Zeke Emmerich keeps it off the left end. Two touchdowns in 61 seconds for Jefferson, and midway through the third, it's 28 to seven. East Troy trying to make a game of it. Final play of the third quarter, DJ Sweet fights off a couple of would-be tacklers to find Taters. But once again, Jefferson would have an answer, and again, it's Emmerich. This time around left end once again, 38 yards and into the end zone. East Troy would score late, but it's not nearly enough tonight. Jefferson stays unbeaten. They take this one 35 to 21. Two and two, Whitefish Bay looking for a homecoming victory. They're hosting unbeaten Milwaukee Lutheran. Visiting Red Knights open the scoring in this one. Jake Nelson connects with James Dills on the quick slant. Dills does the rest from there, and it's seven to nothing, Milwaukee Lutheran. Blue Dukes come right back. Rashidin Gray looking like a Plinko chip. Bouncing off of everything and in for the score. Ties the game up at seven aside. Bay would then take the lead in the second. Grant Menard finds a wide open Jackson Weber in the end zone for six. Blue Dukes would hold a 17-7 lead at the break. Third quarter now, fourth and goal for the Red Knights. Nelson's going to keep it on the dive. That trends the lead down to just three. After a Bay field goal, Nelson this time finding his favorite target, Kevin Folker. Great catch and body balance to keep his feet in bounds. They've missed the PAT though, so we're tied up at 20. In the fourth, the third field goal of the game by Colin Downing puts Bay back on top, 23 to 20. This kick good from 34 yards. But the lead would be short-lived. Same combination as before. Nelson over the top to Folker. Folker one of four different nights to record four catches on the evening. But this game gets iced on the ground. Nelson option to Tyler White. He's around the end and gone. 124 yards on the night for White. And Milwaukee Lutheran remains perfect on the year. They top Whitefish Bay 33 to 23. 